Hey, greetings folks! Today I've got the Dyson V11 and I want to talk about a quick vacuum myth that I've seen. I keep seeing this posted uh, on Instagram or other things, Pinterest, places like that. It's on social media. And that is BACON SODA! I got BACON SODA! And for some reason people think if you dump this baking soda on your carpet, it's going to clean your carpet. Not only is that not true, but it's horrible for your carpet and your vacuum. So, I've got a Dyson V11 and um, we're going to look at the filter. Get a good look at the filter on there. Make sure that you can see that the filter is super clean. In this poor V11, except for some picked up tests, that's all it's ever done. So, I want to show you what this does to your carpet. And the first thing we're going to do is, you see my carpet is not the cleanest right here. And we're going to make it different. Pretty bad. We're going to start this with a clean bin for the most part. We're just going to clean this up real quick on Auto Eco. Make sure it's nice and clean. So we have filled up our Dyson. Bleh. Nothing there. But more importantly, you can see that the filter is intact. There is nothing. Really nothing made it into that filter. So you'd be go ahead to go dump this outside. And you can see there's nothing really, for the most part, stuck in there. So we've emptied the Dyson Cyclone, we've put our baking soda on our test carpet, and let's see how it does. So you can see some of that's in the cyclone. You can see a whole lot of it's stuck around the head. So that will then need to be wiped down and cleaned and serviced. But let's see how much of it's left in the carpet. That's really my question. So, you can see this, almost all of it's ground in the carpet, rather than picked up. Which means, all this, which all nicely put together for you, give you an idea how much was just in that two or three square feet of carpet. You can really see what's there. This is going to stay in your carpet. Again, I just shuck it out because the Dyson V11 or most bagless machines don't have the power, even on boost mode, to pull this stuff out of the carpet. So this stays embedded in your carpet and acts like sandpaper when you walk on it and destroys your carpet. Okay, maybe you rent. Maybe you don't care about your carpet. Well, that stuff is still in your air. As stated, I've got a dust mask on. And the reason I have a dust mask on and a ventilated room down here is because you don't want to breathe any of this. So that's kind of the problem with that in terms of your carpet. Now let's take a look at our machine. 
And we can see the stuff is just everywhere. So let's see the rest of the machine. Let's see if anything made it through the filter. I'm going to take this red rag right here. Now let's just wipe this down. See if anything made it through the filter. And you can see some of that white stuff. Well, that's everything that made it through the filter right That's as far apart as I'm going to take that before I go blow that out with compressed air. So right there, who knows what's got stuck in the HEPA filter, and this is a new filter. But you can definitely see, I know this is white on white, but you can definitely see right here where some stuff made it into the filter. And that's just, again, this is my small test sample of carpet. We're not talking even a whole room here. So using this, as you can see, is really going to be bad for your vacuum. It's going to be worse for your air quality. And who knows what that's going to be left in your carpet. So that's why I never recommend, that's why the Carpet and Rug Institute doesn't recommend, and nobody recommends putting Arm & Hammer powder in your carpet. Now, you're going to say performance reviews, they sell stuff for your carpet. Well, that's completely different. It's actually much coarser than this, and it's designed to come out with your vacuum cleaner. In fact, that stuff is about five, six times larger than these granules are. So again, you don't want to breathe that. You don't want that in your carpet. So that's one of the vacuum myths that I see. So don't do this. Just use a professional carpet cleaning service. If you can't afford to clean your carpet, don't, just don't. It's not a good idea to start putting home remedies and things like this in your carpet. Anyways, please like, subscribe, comment below. And uh, if you're a technician, definitely comment below on what you've seen baking soda do to vacuum cleaners. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda.